categories of people who cannot miss in your will. Full video on YouTube at the legal blog. Our discussion concerning will making in Uganda. Last time we looked at uh, who can make a valid will in Uganda, and tonight we're going to look at the beneficiaries under the will. Those people you must include, you must include in your will. If I told you leave out those people, then your will will be challenged in court. So kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and comment. So let's start by the first group of people who cannot miss in your will. So the first group we have the children, your children, uh, either biological or, or adopted children. So if you have adopted children, by law they are regarded as your own children. So when you're making a will, please don't leave out your adopted children. And then the, 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 the children, we have children born out of marriage and children born in marriage. So the, before, before the amendment of the Succession Act, we had the, the legitimate and illegitimate. And legitimate referred to those children born in marriage, in legal marriage. And then illegitimate, it referred to those children who were born out, out, outside marriage or out of the the, the wedlock but according to the new amendment the amendment of the succession act all children whether born out of marriage or in marriage they are regarded as children yes so when you're drafting your will you must include your children either biological or or ab adopted children yeah so that's the first group of people to be included in your will so another group of people we are going to look at is the spouse yes spouse the term spouse was as well uh brought up by the new amendment the amendment of the succession act and before we used to only have the wife a man before a man could not make a will uh and leave out the the wife but a woman could make before a woman could make uh, her own will without including the husband in the will and that was legally accepted but according to the amendment of the succession act whether you, if you are a woman if you're a wife uh, you must include your husband in your will because that is your spouse so we no longer have wife or husband we have the, the, the law generalized the term to mean wife and husband as spouse. So we only have one term, which means a spouse. A spouse can either mean a man or woman in a legal marriage. So you, you, you cannot say that I'm going to include my spouse, um, let me say my cohabiting spouse in my will as my wife. No, because your cohabiting friend uh let me term it as a friend is not your wife a spouse uh is by law recognized you must be legally married for you to be termed as someone's spouse so you cannot say you cannot entitle yourself to someone and be like um his spouse when you people are not legally married so the moment you're married to your partner legally married to your partner you must include that partner in your will the moment you don't do so then the law will take its course and your will will be challenged in